after what? <laughs> into my future so I can walk out of my past. They call me dog, because that is just God in reverse. <laughs> Don't call me cat, because that is just tech. I was born in 1970, a black man. And then again in 1971 as a white man. And then a third time in 1974 as a mixed child so I could see what it was like to be interracial triplets. And then, and then, and then I could be friends with myself in those lonely days. Talk like to myself and understand the plight of myself. Cause I am the poet that doesn't make sense. Sense make doesn't that poet am I? <laughs> I mean, I know what I want to say. But instead, I choose to speak in a way that is so beautiful, it is ugly. I am so poetic and lyrical, I get caught up in the sounding of words that I forget about what my heart sounds like. So a simple I love you turns into you were like the moon. And I am a Martian. Trying to land on your craters. I'm just trying to scratch your surface. So I can get your skin particles underneath my nails. So I can take them back to my planet. And put them in a jar. And pray that they can grow into something that resembles your beauty. Straight from the motherland. You are African. I'm American. If we had children, they would be African Americans. <laughs> I'm trying to say I love you, but I just can't say it plainly. Saying it poetically in this generation sounds so much more manly. If making no sense was illegal, this country would ban me. Because you are like a flower. <laughs> and I am the rain. And I can't think of a metaphor about to say about that right now, but if I did, say it in a way that you couldn't understand is so much better than saying it the regular way, because losing you would hurt me like a tornado, ripping my heart into a billion pieces and scattering them all over the galaxy, and it would take me three trillion years to gather them all up and put them back together, and by then, you'll be dead. <laughs> or... You would have married another poet by then. One that spoke in a way that you believe. One that spoke from the deepest bowels of his gut. And it may not be pretty, but it was real. I can only pray to be that brave. I've heard poem after poem after poem, and I guess the poet's language has slipped into my vocabulary. And the scary part, when I hit the stage, I no longer know how to talk the way I talk when I'm off the stage. When I walk, I don't know how to walk the way I walk off the stage. When I gesture, I no longer know how to gesture the way I gesture off the stage. When I hit the stage, I no longer know how to be me. I turn into this poet that the crowd wants me to be. So please forgive me. I'm the poet that doesn't make sense. Sense make doesn't, that poet am I. But yeah, please so, because you deserve better. So give it up for poetry. Are you poetry? One more time. One more time.